Hello. Today's Art Start involves gradations and transitions. You'll probably get the hang of this right away. So grab your sketchbook, grab your colored pencils, and let's go. So always start from the beginning of your sketchbook and work your way towards the back. Again, I don't mind if you use the backs of the page or if you do two art starts per page, that's up to you. As long as you're going in order chronologically from the front to the back. I also include the date whenever I'm trying a new technique. So make sure you do the date, including the year. And I usually write a note about what I'm working on. Sometimes you do a final finished work of art in your sketchbook, and then you might not want to add the date or a note. You might just want to do a fresh page, which is OK, too. But anytime you're practicing a technique trying something, testing supplies, you can include as many notes as you want. So in order to do this, you're going to need your colored pencils. Hopefully you have your art kit with your Prismacolors. That will definitely help. But if not, you can use any kind of colored pencils you want. And I do keep a sharpener handy. And my favorite kind of sharpeners are honestly just the little metal ones. And they don't have a case for the shavings to fall into. So make sure that you have your own garbage ready or just use a cup like I do and you can empty that into the garbage. Now when you start your gradation transitions, you choose a color and just like we did last week, you push really hard, but then you gradually, that's where the word gradation comes from, you gradually reduce the pressure. So <sighs> I'm lightening up a little bit as I go across the page and it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. And I often have to go back to make some areas a little darker. Maybe I work on that fade out a little bit more and you kind of fade out. But this time I'd like you to try mixing another color starting from the other end. So I have kind of my orange color going on. Now I'm going to mix with some yellow and see if I can mix and get different colors in between. And I'm pushing pretty hard this time. And notice I didn't actually put away my colored pencils because you might want to go back and forth a few times, especially if you have a big kit. Sometimes it's frustrating when you lose your colored pencil. So I go back and forth a few times and I have them right here. And you can gradually transition from one color to the next. And this is something that I definitely use in my name art, but if you don't want to use it in your name art, you'll probably use it again in other areas. And it's just a really cool thing to try. You also maybe just notice that I mix some orange in between. Keep that in mind because many of us at home only have 12 colored pencils and it can be frustrating if you don't have the color that you want, but now you know you can mix your colors together. So keep practicing. If you find color combinations that you like, you might even want to add some notes about colors and also try some color combinations you might not like just to see what happens. And at least that way it's in your sketchbook if it doesn't come out the way you expect. Happy transitions. Have fun. Practice. Remember, artists make mistakes all the time. It's part of the process. Don't be scared. Embrace it.